Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and for those of you um, who've watched my videos before, welcome back. Thanks for being here. For those of you that don't know, my name is Sammy and I love to play Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you like to play the game too and you like to watch tours, speed builds, and interior designs, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be notified of any future uh, videos that I post. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I flattened my island. I felt that since I completed my island from before, I wanted to try something new. So the theme for my island is going to be based off of Scotland. My husband and I were supposed to go last year during the summer, but because of the pandemic, because of the pandemic, of course, we couldn't go. So I decided to bring Scotland to us. So this speed build is going to be a build of my entrance, and I decided that I wanted to make my entrance into a train station. This is where people can wait after they land after the airplane and they can take the train wherever they want. <laughs> so as you can see, I built a couple of cliffs in front of resident services and I put the pathing down to make like a staircase kind of thing. So those cliffs, I'm actually going to put simple panels on them because I wanted to give the illusion of it being a building. So I guess it's a building within a building because resident services is in the building. Oh well, we're gonna go with it. You can buy your tickets at resident services. <laughs> So you can see I'm putting the pathing down, trying to decide how big I actually want the plaza area to be. So I went ahead and customized a couple of simple panels just to test out which ones I wanted to use for the specific build. And I wasn't sure if the window that I chose was going to match with the brick type of design so I needed to test it out at least on four of them first honestly I think it worked out pretty well I actually liked how it turned out it kind of flowed pretty well to me and then I went ahead and put the rest of the simple panels on either side of resident services. And I don't know if you guys can see Maple in the background, but she is wearing my design and she is killing it. So in this plaza courtyard um, type of area, I decided I wanted to put a fountain in the middle. And then I added a couple of trees And of course you need a couple of benches for the people that are sitting and waiting to either board the train or to fly away to wherever they're going. <laughs> and then I added some more brick pathing, um, more of a gray just to match the gravel type of pathing. Actually, it's not gravel. I think it's cobblestone. And then I also added a street lamp because you need to be able to see, right? Makes sense. Let me know in the comments what you think about the um, custom designs that I chose. There are like so many people that are so talented that are able to do these custom designs. And I give them props. They are the reason why our islands end up looking so nice. <laughs> I think the pathing is a big thing when it comes to decorating your island. Good pathing goes a long way. And then I had I went ahead and used 
the stone fencing. And of course, I had to clap for Maple sitting on the bench already. I don't see a lot of people using the stone fencing. I, other than this build, I actually have never used it before either. And then back here, I'm building basically the train station stand is where people wait for the train to come. And I put a statue as the centerpiece. And put down the train track. And then I started to build a cliff around the train tracks. Who here hates when your controller kind of like drifts and you build your cliff on part of the design that you actually just put down and then you're just like, oh, I have to do it again. <laughs> so here I'm placing the custom designs to the out line where I want my incline to be here you can see I changed the wall a little bit I moved it one space over only because I wanted to add a little bit more color into the courtyard so that way I can put like flowers or trees or shrubs in the area. And then of course, since I added um, one more space towards each, I had to put another set of simple panels on either side of the cliffs. While I was doing this build, I didn't realize that it was already sunset in the game. But I actually like how the sunset looks in the game. And then for the platform, just so that no one falls into the train tracks, I used the spooky fencing to block off that part. And then since I was planning on putting an incline on either side, I needed to add more cliff space. And then I went ahead and added more fencing to the top. Have you guys ever noticed that for the spooky fencing, when you have like half of it, it turned into a heart? And I thought that was so cute. Here I started planting the flowers that I wanted. So in my previous island, you guys noticed that I only used flowers that were blue, purple, or white. So I'm hoping that on this island, I want to add all color variations of flowers all over my island. So I don't want a specific color, but I want every color, basically. I want it to be this luscious and bright place. And then by, in by the inclines, I started adding more flowers also. In the courtyard, I decided to add a couple more street lamps. And I went ahead and built my incline, well at least one of them. So my husband's actually been to Scotland, so I had to ask him what kind of pathing they use around in Scotland and what their buildings are made of. And he said usually it's more cobblestone, actual stone and a little bit of brick so that's why I use the stone incline and the cobblestone type of pathing so it's a new day I time traveled forward so that all the trees are grown all the flowers are fully grown so why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of a walkthrough all peanuts greeting us at the airport <laughs> So I really like how this courtyard area turned out. I like the flowers, I like 
the benches there. And I think the fountain is a really cute centerpiece for this courtyard. Of course it is. Fountains are meant to be the centerpiece of courtyards, right? And then the cute touches of the mountain bike. Look at Diana back there, working up a sweat. And here we have the train platform. And we have our inclines all built. I honestly don't know where this part is leading to yet. I'm kind of just like working along as I go. I don't have a set plan. You go girls. These deers, they got it going. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me on my video and watching my speed build. I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye!